Okay, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today we have a hole in our tire. There was a screw in it, which I've removed. You can use your screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and just remove it. And then what you want to do is patch it or plug it. So I have a, a plug kit, and it comes with a reamer, and it comes with the, uh, I don't actually know what it's called, a rasp and an inserting needle and plugs. So here's the rasp, which is a file, and then the inserting needle, which has this funky little groove tip on it. And then you have these plugs, which are like sticky rope things. They're pretty gross. Um, they're not usually too bad to touch, though. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to ream the hole out and then put the plug in here. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll move the camera closer so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to take the plug, pull one of these out, and I stick it in here. Inside there's like this little fork. You have to thread it into the fork, which can be somewhat difficult. Once you get that in, it looks like this. So. Set that off to the side. The hole's right here. Probably can't really see it, but so you stick the reamer in and kind of twist it around. Now it makes it the right width for the plug. Pull it out. Okay. You insert your plug through the hole. Push it down quite a bit. Hmm, I should have more air in this tire. It's been leaking for quite a while. So it's actually hard to put the plug in. There we go. You put it in quite a bit, and then you just pull the tool out, and you'll see the plug sticks out. So we'll trim that off, and we'll reinflate it, and that's it. So anyway, you want to trim it off. Try to get as flush as you can. So I'm gonna trim it off with just a utility knife. All right. So you take out your excess. And then what we'll do is we'll um, we'll inflate it. So this is the plug right there. Okay. We'll inflate the tire, put it back on the car. Okay. So that's it. That's how easy it is to do a plug repair. And you could be back on the road in minutes. Now, if you go to a tire place, they'll say, "Oh no, we can't use plugs." And I'm not sure why that is. But you can actually go to like Princess Auto or Canadian Tire or uh, any automotive store basically and get this plug kit. A tubeless tire repair kit, actually it's called. And uh, that's it. Like literally for ten dollars you can get one of these kits. You know, this one's from Princess Auto. It didn't have the rasp for the file in it. But I got another one with the file. But it was cheaper to get this other kit than it was just to buy the plugs. Right? So anyway and then you can buy the plugs. I fix these all the time and I don't know why I've got such good luck but at least I can fix it myself for cheap so this is like a one dollar repair maybe fifty cents alright so that's how cheap and easy it is you'll never have to go to a tire place again unless you get it in the sidewall but if you get it here and it's just small like a screw or whatever if it's big like your finger that's not going to work but just like a regular screw from a mud flap or, you know, like a contractor or something that's lost a bunch of screws on the road, then uh, easy fix. All right? Anyway, hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching.